Hey everybody, it's Danielle Damiano with Wine Down Wednesday, and I am here today with Kyle Reed with Timberline Marketing. Um, so Kyle, thank you so much for being here. And I'm really excited to have you on because as I, you know, am growing my business, I'm learning so much more about different ways to market, whether it's through a CRM, uh, funnels, and things like that. So why don't you take a minute and just kind of let everybody know what you do at Timberline Marketing? Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you for having me on right quick as well, Danielle. Yeah. So yeah, what we do at, at Timberline Marketing is it's actually a slightly different approach than most of your digital marketing companies that are out there. I focus in two primary areas. One is reputation management, and then the other one is automated touchpoint systems or essentially embedding a CRM into a person's business to help them effectively, you know, kind of go from where they're at managing people either on pencil and paper or in Excel sheets all the way over to where we have a CRM that's actually managing a flow of contacts for them. And so I'll talk about that reputation management for just a second. So with reputation management, what we do is we help businesses drive reviews back to their Google business page, their Facebook page, and any other applicable sites. So it may be like a, a Zillow site for a real estate agent. It may be, maybe it's uh, something related to restaurants like a DoorDash or something of that nature where we can help them obtain reviews on those more specific, industry specific sites. But our primary focus is still going to be Google due to the fact that when most people are looking for a new, something to serve a need that they have, they're gonna go to Google. And so that's one of our biggest focuses. We do that actually with automation as well. And so, and I'll tell you even deeper a little bit right quick as to why these reviews are important. And I think your audience should know them as well. When uh, if, there, if you have audience members who are business owners or their friends are business owners or anything of that nature, a lot of folks are wanting to show up on Google, especially uh, at the top of Google when their business model is getting searched. And so I encourage every one of your audience members to, if they're business owners, let's just say, for example, one of them's a, uh, they earn a, own a real estate firm or we'll even say a roofing company. Set, search, go to the Google and search in, say, roofing company near me or real estate firm or real estate office near me and see where they, like your audience, your own actual business shows up in comparison to the competition. A lot of uh, the work is actually going to be done in that Google My Business section, which is essentially where the maps are going to show businesses at. And so actually reviews have a major impact on when and how those businesses show up in that three pack area on Google. So oh, okay. that's why, yeah. So that's why I help businesses get reviews to their business, to their businesses and their profiles, because it helps has a, it has a large SEO impact on where that. Now, are you how, helping them? Are you actually creating the Google, my business page for them as well as everything else that goes along with it? Yeah, hundred percent. That's a great question. So, you know, uh, a lot of businesses that come to me and we, you know, that we're helping, they already have a Google business page. And so, but that does not necessarily mean that we don't help people set them up. If they're, you know, if they're coming to us for reputation management or simply just to get a better Google footprint and they don't have a, a Google My Business page, yeah, we're going to absolutely set that up. We're going to optimize it for them, place keywords in the description and the names and the services and the service areas that helps that business get as much traction to their visibility on Google in their service area as possible. And then also getting them reviews, which is going to help with organic right placement with where they are. If someone is Googling, you know, restaurants near me or roofers or solar companies or real estate agents or mortgage brokers. So you're really with yeah. that reputation management getting the reviews for them or helping them get the reviews, which is then going to rank their business higher on Google, as opposed to others that might not have any reviews. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. And now, actually real quick, so they know uh, in, 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 in respect to your competition, if you have three times as many reviews as your competition with an optimized Google My Business page, you will always show up in that three pack. And so just, you know, that's why going out and doing an audit of your competition is valuable. If your competition has 30 reviews and you've got 10, know that you can, if you get 90, which is, sounds like a large jump, but you kind of break it down in the numbers. Okay, how many people do I need to get in my business to get 90 reviews to get three times as many as my competition who has 30? 
then at that point, uh, you're in the three pack and you're always showing up at the top. Got it. Okay. Now, um, I work a lot with real estate agents. So can a single real estate agent that obviously works for a bigger brokerage um, have their own Google My Business and get their reviews and things like that? Yes, they can. And I absolutely recommend that, especially in the real estate world, because uh, at least in every real estate agent that I've worked with, they all have their own LLC, even though that they're, so they're kind of a 1099, of course, underneath a, a firm and they've got their own LLC. And then they may even have a team of people that are like agents and, you know, folks underneath them as well. So yeah, absolutely. They can have an individual page for them. My recommendation is, let's just say, for example, I was a realtor and I was creating a Google My Business page. I would simply just do Kyle Reed dash realtor and then do it. it there because what happens is if you brand your Google My Business page around uh, one firm, and then you decide to go to another firm, you got to change all that branding. So if you leave it as high level, you're branding yourself at the end of the day, but building that Google business page around you. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So, and actually that we're going to at some point have another meeting where you can kind of show, you know, the real estate agents and different businesses that I work with a little bit more about, about what you do, but aside from reputation management, what are some of the other services that you provide for businesses? Yeah, absolutely. It, it all comes down to automation within a CRM system and touch points. And so, you know, that can be anything from consulting all the way up to full blown development of a CRM and essentially management in certain capacities of CRM. Uh, so real quick, as far as the CRM, what that is, is for people, it's a customer relationship management tool. And what I do to help people and help businesses with a, placing a CRM into their business or helping consult them on how to best utilize their existing CRM is to really set up a series of stages like along the customer journey that the business has. And so certain businesses have a lot more customer journeys than other business models. And so we go in, we set these stages up to where we flow a business through a funnel, right? You know, like these people are barely aware of us. And then, okay, they've, they're aware of us. We've had one touch point with us. Okay, now we've actually quoted them we're, or we're engaging with them. We've quoted them. Now we're closing them. Then we've closed them. And so that's one thing that, you know, you can think about. But then outside of that, you've also got all the touch points that need to be corresponding to each one of those stages. And so when we, when we develop CRMs, ultimately that's what we're doing is we're helping somebody build a pipeline flow through their business and it's all automated. And then also touch points that are hundred percent automated in all of those processes as well. Then that way, if you have somebody you quote and they're like, yeah, that's not in my budget right now, you can place them back into a different bucket and then that way they can consistently get nurtured. Then that way when exactly. they build their finances up, they can, you know, they don't forget about you. Right. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's what's really important. And one of the, you know, biggest things that a lot of businesses struggle, whether you're a one man, you know, show or larger businesses is being able to stay in front of, you know, your prospects or in front of your clients and communication is huge, right? So it's basically taking the CRM and automating everything for the business so that they're really you know, staying in front of them because we all know it takes, you know, at least seven to 10 touch points a lot of times before people are even going to do business with you. So if you're only reaching out once or twice, then you're definitely missing, you know, a lot of business that you couldn't have with something like this that's automated. Um, so you're basically going to come in and some people could have a CRM right now, and then you can help automate, you know, optimize that CRM or use one that you recommend um, and help them move over, right? To a different CRM. That is correct, yeah. Because, you know, certain certain industries, they, and even certain businesses <clears throat> are, I guess you could say, held to a certain CRM. Certain real estate companies, certain mortgage companies, they have to use a particular CRM. And so rather than completely stepping way outside of that, if we can avoid that, I simply just help them understand how to actually utilize the one that they have. Right. I love it. So how can yep. people get in touch with you if they want to, you know, get more information about uh, marketing automations, funnels, CRM, um, reputation management to really help them build and grow their business? Because I can say that in the real estate and mortgage industry, 
we are going to see a change in 2022. And, the, you know, it's not going to be as easy as it used to be. So people have to implement this. It's imperative, you know, into their business to be able to really, you know, survive in what I think is going to be a changing economy in the next couple of years. Um, so if somebody wants to reach out to you, and it's not just real estate or mortgage, it, they can own a restaurant or, you know, whatever. Um, how can they find you? Yeah, absolutely. So my site, my personal site is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Uh, it's actually kylegreed.com and you can go right there. It's got different buttons there to actually, they can text me directly if they want to from that page. They can schedule an appointment and reach out, look at some of my other content, get to build that no like, and trust factor as well. So yeah, kylegreed.com. Perfect. So if anybody wants some help, I can tell you personally, Kyle is amazing. He's really good at what he does. Um, he'll sit down and create a plan for you based on your business and what you need. It's not like a, you know, one size fits all. I mean, he will really customize to whatever it is that you need. So kylegreed.com and, um, Reach out to him, get some, you know, business automation set up so you can really grow and scale your business in 2022. Is there anything else that you want to point out real quick? Or do you think we kind of covered a lot of it? You know, I'll just leave your audience with this and think about that it is as a business owner. This is one thing that's helped me take my business from, you know, kind of being manually run to a much more automated approach, especially with touch points, is that. Um, it is not our either prospects or customers job to remember us. It's our job to make sure they never forget who we are. So I love that. think about that in any stage of the business and automate it and you'll be good. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. And we will um, have all of Kyle's information here in the video so you can reach out to him directly. And um, thank you, Kyle. It was definitely super helpful and I really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me on as well.